Man, was I right or was I right about having to mow the grass soon? We just mowed today. Mike got our mowers. We seem to get a lot of comments about these. Yes, we have two John Deere mowers. Mike rides that one. We got that one we moved here. We've had this one for like 15, 16 years and I ride that one. We usually mow together, but Mike mowed when I was at work. So worked out pretty good. It looks amazing. We are finally going through boxes and stuff from when we moved. Imagine that. And I came across this. Look at these two cute kids. Oh, that's nice. It's before you had all the gray hair, Mikey. Yeah. How long ago was that? Uh, it's almost 13 years. <laughs> A long time. Oh man, more memories were found. I was in 4-H for like 10 years. This is when I, my last year, I think, that was my welding project. Oh, this is when I made my parents their dining room table for woodworking in one. They never gave me my picture. Lots of sewing, made the bathing suit sewing. Cooking, cake decorating, woodworking, sewing again. Ohio birds. I did a lot of things and I won a lot of things. Oh, I also won in laundry. You still get first place in laundry. <laughs> Like doing things. Fitches are on their way over. Oh. Kenny style. Yeah. It's 9.09 p.m. Yeah. And they're still about an hour away. So when they get here, they're going to find out that Camp A is full. Uh-oh. <laughs> well, we're out here at Camp A. They should see this. Yeah, they're going to go back over it. <laughs> <laughs> Look how full Camp Bay is. is full. <laughs> this came from our honeymoon. Honeymoon in Gettysburg. Yeah. That was a good time. Yeah. Lynn bought a picture. Hey, it wasn't just a picture, okay? <laughs> you could probably actually show that picture. Yeah, I'll show that after this. And then I bought this, which is a, a three band Enfield. It's a musket. Now, I was really scared that this is going to be covered in surface rust, and it is a little bit. It's not terrible, though. I mean, there's just very minor. Yeah. Like right here. It sucks, though. I mean. Yeah, that can be cleaned up pretty easily. Yeah. I'll have to, uh, I'll have to disassemble it and clean it up. I'd like to make this a, a wall hanger. Yeah, like a display, like something cool. Yeah. It's just something that's really cool to have. Yeah. <clears throat> Which is the same way I feel about that picture. This is the picture that we got done when we were on our honeymoon. It is a traditionally done wet plate picture and frame. And, uh, you know, that was my treat or my, my request is like, I really wanted this picture. And uh, we really love how it turned out. It looks very old school and it's uh, been hanging up in our house ever since. Camp A was supposed to be full. That's Dave. Full. It's full now. Oh, it's full now. <laughs> Go see Dave Pipes. I guess it's time to make this big reveal as to what we bought that I kind of gave a little teaser to on Instagram. So here it is. Ta-da! We built a little barn shed. This thing is pretty big, so I don't really know what to call it. It's like once it got here, we're like, oh, this thing's big. It is 10 by 16 Amish built shed. 
It has two big lofts in it that we are currently trying to put some stuff in there, try to clear out the uh, small garage. We're going to put the mowers in here so that they are out of the other garage as well and firewood. A lot of you have said, you know, like, you shouldn't store your firewood inside the garages. We know all this. We've never had any problems with bugs or mice when we did that, but we always wanted to have more than what we had stored in there. And we just didn't want it to encroach on any of our walking space or any of the space where we parked the wraith. So now we got this shed and it is nice. So what do you guys think? Do you like it? Do you think this will help us store more firewood? <laughs> I think so. It's gonna be uh, pretty full. Now we just need to go get some wood because man, we miss having our own campfires for sure. Yep, yep, yep. Always doing things here, us Wagners. <laughs> we may not be away camping, but that never stops me from actually using the wraith in ways that I love. Today, I plan on doing a little more convection oven baking with a recipe that is not mine and one that is new to me. So I'm hoping it turns out good. One of Mike's favorite things is lemon flavored cakes and pies and stuff like that. So I'm actually going to try to make Mike a lemon custard cake today. I've got all my things ready to go. First thing I'm gonna do is take my one stick of unsalted butter and melt it in the microwave. Next, I'm going to separate my four eggs, yolks and whites. Butter is all nice and melted, so now I'm going to preheat. It actually, in the recipe, says to use an eight by eight. I don't have that, so I'm gonna use a nine inch pie plate. <laughs> it all works out in the end. We're gonna find out. It says to preheat it convection to 325 and we're off. Next step, take your egg whites, pour them into your mixer. Trust me, you don't want to do this by hand. I've done it before and it sucks. So we're going to mix it until stiff peaks form. While that is whisking up, I'm taking my egg yolks and three quarters cups of granulated sugar and I'm gonna whisk it up, mix it really well. Next, I added one teaspoon of vanilla <laughs> as the train goes by. And then I'm going to also add in my melted butter. They said to make it so that there are stiff peaks. So that is pretty stiff. Pretty good, looking good so far. Next was three quarter cup of all purpose flour and one quarter cup of lemon juice and mix well. Next step is to add in one and three quarters cup of milk slowly. They did say to add it very slowly, so we'll see. Next step is to take your egg whites and you're going to whisk them in. I thought you'd be folding them in, but they want you to whisk it in and it doesn't need to be completely, you know, combined with it there can be some chunks it said so let's see how this goes that's pretty good actually call that good. they did make note that this batter you know air quotes batter would be very thin which it is so that's a good sign now i'm going to pour it into my pie plate and put it in the convection. Doesn't get much closer than that. The recipe says to put it in there for 40 to 60 minutes, but to start checking it after 35. 
Since the convection generally cooks faster, I'm only going to set my timer for 35 minutes. Timer went off. It's been in there for a total of 50 minutes now. Let's see here. It says for it to be barely jiggly in the center, which I think it is, and firm to the touch on the top. I think I'm going to call that done. Golden brown on top. Looks like some good stuff. Now it has to cool. Then we will get to try it and see how it really turned out. What do you think? It's good. Yeah, it's like custardy. And then there's like a layer of cake on top. Or that's what it's supposed to kind of be like. Got a good lemon flavor. Mm -hmm. Good. Would you like for me to make it again? Is this a savable recipe? Yeah, I'd make it again. Okay, cool. Yeah, you can really see like the layer of cake and then it's like custard on the bottom, which is exactly how it was supposed to turn out. So looks pretty delicious. Deja vu. Yeah. It's cheaper than just paying your camping fees. <laughs> Looks good. Yeah, you think so? I, I think so. It's good for who it's for? <laughs> yeah. And we are putting ruts in the grass because we don't want to carry this wood. This wood's got to go from the driveway to the new shed. All right, so it looks like we're going to be building a ramp because uh, I don't think the uh, lawnmowers can jump that. <laughs> that was easy. That'll last. <laughs> play with Dave anymore. One down, one to go. Perfect fit. Done. Looks good, you guys did a good job. Yeah. It's so easy. Yeah. It only took you, what, like half hour or so? Yeah, That's probably. Mark some angles, cut it, screw it all together. I bet you just, you know, cutting the pieces took the longest amount of time. <laughs> yeah. Are you happy with it? Yeah, this barn's awesome. I know, I've been calling it the barn too, because well, it's just so big. It's advertised as a smart barn. That's true. So, I mean, it's a shed, but it's a smart barn. So. Yeah. Yeah, it's going to be pretty nice when we get our firewood in there. Mowers, mowers fit perfect. We're going to put some of the garden stuff because our garden is right here, obviously. So uh, I call that a successful weekend getting projects done at home. Yeah, this thing was expensive, but I mean, it's worth it. Yeah, I did. I don't think I mentioned the price, so. <laughs> $5,500. Amish. I did say it was Amish built, so. And if you know the price of wood and lumber right now then yeah. this is probably a pretty good steal 
for that price because whew, just to build this ramp was like what one fifteen? Yeah. Yeah. For the materials. Dollars in that lumber right there. Just for this tiny ramp, four foot by six, four by six ramp. Crazy. Last fall, I had a bunch of lettuce in this part of the garden and it went to seed and then we tilled it in at the end of the season and we already have lettuce coming up like this is my tri-colored right here right here that's a different breed of lettuce like all of this green that you see is all lettuce that had come back up we actually made the garden bigger in the fall too you can see the line break about right here tilled it a little extra so we're gonna till it today since it looks like it's pretty dry we'll be able to uh, get it really prepped for planting this year I mean today it's pretty much the most gorgeous spring day this is like perfect blue sky sunshine almost no wind it's gonna be 68 If I had a compact tractor, that would have been done 10 minutes ago. <laughs> Very successful weekend at home. And next weekend, we do plan on being out back on the road camping. Not sure where yet. No surprise to anyone. So you just have to watch and find out. So, till next time, see ya. Mm -hmm.